five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off of the now at 11, history once again made on the Space Coast. Nine years of hard work and dedication coming to fruition today. Thousands of people packed the beaches as we all watched. History all made right here in Central Florida. Tonight the astronauts are safely in orbit after the sweetest launch of the Space Coast in nearly a decade on a commercial rocket. We heard from Bob and Doug on board the Dragon. They are happy and healthy and showed off their space toy. And we also heard from the man behind SpaceX tonight. Elon Musk spoke only with New 6 anchor and space expert Eric Von Anken one-on-one. -on -one. Eric continues our coverage from the Kennedy Space Center tonight. Elon Musk tells me tonight he's focused on tomorrow when the astronauts will dock with the International Space Station. Right now, the astronauts are sleeping at least as much as anyone can who just took America back into space from the Space Coast. The roar of the rocket was more powerful this time than in nine long years because this wasn't just a rocket launch. This was Launch America. Two astronauts, Bob and Doug as they've become known, flew to space in the world's first commercially made crew capsule and the first American spacecraft to carry astronauts since the space shuttle. Um, yeah, I'm really quite overcome uh, with emotion on uh, this day. It's, it's kind of hard to talk, frankly. Um, it's been 18 years working towards this goal, so it's, it's hard to believe that it's happened. Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX and visionary behind Falcon 9 and Dragon, pushed for perfection, and at the last minute, it was all of it. The weather, the rocket, and the crew, especially. As tough as it must have been to say goodbye to their astronaut wives and adoring sons, these two military test pilots were eager to try out this brand new flying machine. And SpaceX Dragon 4, 4.042. Even flying Dragon themselves with the touch screen briefly before turning autopilot back on. Their 12 minute ride on the rocket delivered them into orbit. Their zero gravity indicator, a glittery stuffed dinosaur, confirmed they had made it. We both have two boys uh, who are super interested in dinosaurs. And uh, we collected up all the dinosaurs between the two houses, and Trimmer, the Apatosaurus, uh, got the vote from the boys to make the trip into space today with us. And so that uh, was a super cool thing for us to get a chance to do for both of our sons. Bob and Doug on their new adventure ate dinner, then went to bed while their capsule continued to chase the space station, circling the Earth, sailing through space at 17,500 miles an hour, bringing them closer and closer to the next history-making moment. That moment will come at 10.29 a.m. when Dragon attaches to the ISS. They open the hatch and the astronauts float inside for the first time from an American spacecraft in nine years. Musk tells me after that he can begin to relax a little bit. Also in my one-on-one -on -one interview, I asked him, what does this mean to right here, the Space Coast? Very much appreciate the, the support of the Space Coast and all the, the people in Florida. Um, that uh, have helped, helped us get here. And I think there's gonna be uh, a lot of excitement, a lot more activity. Um, we're gonna be obviously sending a lot of astronauts to the space station and hopefully the moon uh, and Mars uh, uh, for, for right here from the space coast. So I uh, just wanna say uh, you know, thank you for your support and uh, look, look forward to many exciting things in the future. You know how much pain they've been through the last nine years. They didn't know what was next. Sure. It finally happened because of you? Well, it, it you know I think uh, there's uh, there's a lot of people to uh, uh, to thank for the progress here. Um, a lot of appreciation for the the, the current and the prior administration, uh, NASA and the current and, and former uh, president to, to get to this point. We're going to keep driving hard and, and uh, do more and more missions. I, I think uh, it's, it's just to give you a sense of, of scale here. Uh, I think we're going to do um, more uh, payload uh, from from the Space Coast to orbit than uh, the, all other rockets combined this year. Just uh, in, in sheer tonnage. From the Space Coast? Yeah, yeah, from, from, from Cape 
Canaveral Cape Kennedy. Musk told me he's planning a whole bunch of missions from right here. Crewed missions, cargo missions, Starlink missions. He says the plan is to launch every 10 days from the Space Coast. First and foremost, though, getting our astronauts safely to the space station. At the Kennedy Space Center, Eric Von Aiken getting results new six.